What is happening everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday and we had a weekend of some football. Some solid football if you're a fan of this team right here. Um, that was an awesome game, I will say. I didn't go because, again, if you saw my episode a uh, uh, week before, uh, my wife is having a hiatal hernia surgery. So I'm trying to be cautious with a lot of the events and things that I do until that surgery. Anyway, um, awesome game. Awesome game. Uh, we eked it out. And, yeah. And <laughs> Chad Quarters beat the Colts. Screwing them. Anyway, what are we going to rip today? Well, we're going to rip open some more baseball, like we always do here. Yeah, and what are we gonna rip? Well, last week I did the Bowman Jumbo Draft as a two-parter. I wanna do, and I am gonna do the Bowman Light on the next episode, but I wanted to crack this open. What is this, by the way? Well, this is a hobby box of Panini's Elite Extra Edition. We're gonna get eight autographs and two mem cards in here, and hopefully they're not pitchers. And guess what? We're also gonna open up some Monday mail. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Monday, and we're going to rip open this hobby box of 2021 Panini Elite Extra Edition. Eight autographs, two mem cards, five cards per pack, five cards. These are loaded. Yeah, they're loaded. And granted, it's Panini, it's non-licensed, but it's loaded, so who cares? Anyway, we're gonna open this in a minute. But before we get to that, it is time for some Monday Mail. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna will. It never fails. Nope. Monday Mail, that's right. And these are all eBay pickups. Um, it's a random one. I'm gonna be honest with you. These are random pickups. I was like, oh, I maybe can snipe that at the last second or you know what? For the price, why not? Honestly, that was the deal this week uh, or last week I should say. So what did we get? Well, let's go ahead and start from our standard uh, envelope. This was a cheapo. Um, this is a guy I'm prospecting and it was a paper first and I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and get it. But the thing is about this is look how they shipped it. Just in an envelope, okay, there's no protection, no nothing. Now granted, I did pay 50 cents for shipping, so I kind of expected a little better, but anyway, who is it? Well, guess what, I'm gonna tell you. And we got ourselves in a freaking penny sleeve. Uh, wow, this was supposed to be first edition. Um, Owen Casey, uh, 2021, uh, bait, uh, draft uh, Owen Casey, then drafted by the Padres, now uh, with the Cubs. He's solid outfield prospect, and I'm, I, I'm prospecting him pretty high on him. Although, I did pay for Bowen first edition on this. That's kind of why I'm like, oh, for 50, like 59 cents. But seriously, the dude who shipped it to me, here it is. Thank God I got one piece, it wasn't bent or anything like that. Now granted, it's paper, whatever. But come on, dude. If you're, I don't mind paying the extra 50 cents for a little bit more protection, but shipping it in a penny sleeve? I'm just lucky it got here. Jesus Christ, people. That's number one. Okay, so let's go to eBay pickup number two. Now these are, I don't know, but we'll find out what it is. And it is in a, hey, at least he protected it, or she, could be a she, you never know. And what did you grace me? I'm pretty, uh, again, these are a lot of Bowman, to be honest with you, a lot of Bowman and stuff like that. So this is, we go from one polar opposite to the other, at least they're protected and I can appreciate that. And I'm sure the other person as a collector is the same. And this is more uh, first edition in a top loader, nice. Um, okay, eventually I'll open this here for you. Ah, there we go. Blaze Jordan and Jaron Duran. I'm a Red Sox fan, if it's not obvious. But two uh, Panini, uh, not Panini, but um, Bowman first edition first of Jaron Duran and Blaze Jordan. Really to go into the PC eventually, but right now it's just like, I think I paid like 
three dollars for the blaze and like a buck for the jaron duran and then obviously shipping combined shipping but for me blaze first edition anybody who's aware the first editions are a lot more rare so yeah it's paper again but they don't do chrome on first edition at least until i don't know about this upcoming uh this this new version because i didn't drop 750 dollars on 50 packs so anyway that's what we got for uh package number two and at least they pack it. thank god all right, so let's go ahead and go here to this next package, which is a very nicely sealed envelope that I can't open. Um, and this was... All right, well, he taped together some Future Stars cards of Kyle Tucker. Cool. Um, obviously, he's using these as commons. Some people treat these like commons. I actually like them, so... All right, what did we get here, Craig? Well, you're gonna show, well, okay, you got a bunch of 2021, hey, I mean, a couple rookies here. Edwin Rios, hey, at least a Dodger. So this was a, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. Um, this was a, I think I paid like 11 bucks for this. And what it was, was it's Bowman Sterling in the uh, last, up until this season, this was 2014. And these were all just guys, I'm like, you know what, for the price, I'll take a flyer. And that's honestly what it was. Uh, Dominic Smith uh, with the Mets, first baseman, uh, kind of like, if there was an American League team or if they do the DH, he will definitely, uh, he will definitely do well. And that's kind of what my instinct was on him is, if the DH comes, he's definitely gonna do some uh, do some hitting for the Mets, cause yeah. And then we got ourselves a, actually I don't know who this guy is, I was part of the deal. Uh, Max Pentecost for the Blue Jays. Um, yeah, this was purely a, why not? Uh, Miguel Sano, now this is an on-card auto for the Twins. And again, the reason I caved on these is like, Miguel Sano, I'm not a fan of his, but the dude's young and the dude mashes. His batting average is low, but his power's there. And I'm like, you know, if I could buy the card for a buck and a half, two bucks total, and, you know, end up holding onto it, maybe, you know, sell it down the road for maybe 10 bucks, that's a, that's a win. So yeah, so there you go. There's Miguel Sano. And then uh, Clint Frazier with the sticker auto. One reason I did on him was I think Frazier was kind of a raw deal in New York. Frazier had a ton of talent in Cleveland, was traded to New York, just kind of became the fourth, fifth outfielder. Now he's with the Cubs, and I think that he can do something with them. I really do, and I think he's got a chip on his shoulder now to show what he can actually do. Uh, and then the last card was another autograph of some dude I've never heard of called Mitch Geller, Mitch Geller for then the Phillies on card auto. So again, I paid like 12 bucks if that in shipping total for that. Really three major leaguers in there. Sano is an all-star. Dominic Smith is a decent player. Clint Frazier is a decent player. Um, and I'm not saying like, I'm not expecting these guys to develop or anything. I'm expecting them to just do a, just have a normal career. And then we got these cards that have been stuck together here. We got ourselves a, some common rookies. We got Kyle Tucker, Future Stars, and uh, what, is there anything else here worth a crap? I don't know. Probably not, because if you taped them to it. Um, Shu Yamaguchi, uh, Justin Dunn, bunch of low-end rookies. But uh, you know what? This, uh, this Edwin Rios will go into my PC, Paul, so at least there's that. So Edwin Rios going into the PC. Thanks for the free cards. So our last is now, this is something I've been trying to bid on and trying to get for a while. And it's it's not like I'm like, oh, I needed this card. I just kept on getting shut out on it. And it's something that I have opened before, not this, but I've opened uh, before on the channel. And then there, were, once I won the bid, I'm like, okay, well, let me go see if there's anything else I can get from this guy. And I kept getting screwed over there too. And it's not his fault. It's the fact that other people were outbidding me. So what did we, oh, geez, I got to go all the way through this one. What did we get? Well, we got a guy I'm prospecting big time. And the guy I'm prospecting big time is a player. Oh, he threw some extras in here, thank you. Player by the name of Riley Green. Riley Green, Bowman Chrome, PSA 9. And I think I paid $27 something for it. The reason why I did this with P uh, is you, there is no guarantee when you buy cars on eBay or cards in general that you're gonna get any PSA graded cards at all. 
I mean, you could send them away and it could be a 10, but more than likely it might be a nine. Could be an eight, you never know. So I'm like, you know what? I'll give myself a couple of these along the way. And I kept getting shut out. And I would bid up to like 22, 23. And then I noticed the trends, you know, just looking at all looking at all the stuff. And PSA 10s are, you know, forget it. But PSA 9s on these were like, you know what? That's doable. He's a guy I'm heavily prospecting. But he did send me a couple other free cards here. Now, first of all, um, oh, he opened a bunch of Bowman Draft. I appreciate it. Obviously, I did too. Uh, let's see if there's anybody here that I'm like, woo, he probably didn't throw any first in here, but hey, threw in Wilman Diaz. I appreciate that, Wilman Diaz. Now, I did pick up a couple autographs from him as well. And again, it was because of the fact that I just wanted to, and Pedro Pineda, who is a top prospect for the A's, Alec Thomas, um, I wanted to do combined shipping. And I really just wanted to, uh, how would I put it? Just kind of, just, just even it out. So it's like, cause I don't want to pay four bucks for shipping for one card. If I can get a few others, you know, and that's something I always recommend to people is always see if you can get a couple extra uh, cards through shipping um, just to even it out. Okay, so Pedro Pineda again, Garrett Mitchell, Nick Gonzalez I like, JC Correa, Shailen Polanco. He did throw me a first of Michael Morales. There is a little bit of a uh, precursor to what's going to be shown. Uh, Micah Bell, and then an auto of Michael Morales for the Mariners. Now, I want to say I paid uh, five or six dollars for this. Again, the reason why is because I had shipping already built in. And so I really wanted to just go ahead and just pick up a couple extra cards. Even if I'm not super prospecting the guy, it was like, it's kind of a, just get the card. Okay, so this is card number two, and this is the same deal. And again, like I've always said, is like always, uh, look, you know, if you're buying on eBay, always look in their store and see if there's anything else you'd like to get. It's Christian Hernandez, Robert Hassel, nice. Alcantara, CJ Abrams, Brett Abrams, uh, Victor Mesa, Jason Dominguez, nice. Alexander Mojica, and Kai Bush. And Kai, this is the card I bought. I think I paid like $4 in shipping. Well, combined shipping. $4 for him. And if you saw Wednesday's episode, you saw I got a butt ton of, uh, Bowman draft pitcher autos and that was kind of the whole like it was the terrible terrible rip I probably got one of the worst boxes ever created by mankind but that was that and I was like you know what I don't care I'll just if I can get these autos for you know three four five bucks per you never know what's gonna happen down the road you know I'm not paying eight hundred dollars I'll tell you that much like, you could I mean the guy might develop into something really solid but um, so yeah, there you go. There is your Monday mail episode for eBay pickups. One really crappy, uh, really crappy packaging. Um, the rest were solid. Uh, appreciate that. Um, I'm the, the uh, buyer. I'm obviously going to leave you some solid feedback there. Sending in some extra Bowmans there. Sending cards that I actually would put into my collection. I really do appreciate that. So I'm going to clear the table off and then we're going to come back and open up the Elite Extra Edition Hobby Box. I will see you in a second. All right, so there is Monday Mail. Some nice little uh, prospecting and some, you know, possibilities of some future guys doing some damage. Who knows? You know as well as I do. This whole thing, it's a gamble. So you might as well try to have fun with it. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna have some fun with the Panini Hobby Box of Elite Extra Edition. Five cards in here, five packs per box, so 25 total cards. We're gonna get 10 hits. All the base cards in here from what I'm reading are all uh, number 999 and below. Now this is the hobby format. Now I did see that blaster boxes are hitting Walmart and Shields and Myers and all that fun stuff. I don't know how much they are. I wanna say probably 25 bucks a pop. It's five cards, two hits. Now you're not guaranteed a two autographs or two mem. It says an autograph and memorabilia per average. So you might get two hits of a two mem. You never know that stuff. Now I did pick this up at Frank J's boxes. Frank J, one, uh, $85. Now I, that's that's the guy, the guy right there. He's on Twitter. He's a solid guy, takes care of you. This was 85 shipped. So awesome guy to deal with. These are usually going to run about a hundred or so dollars in the hobby at the hobby stores. Uh, so just a heads up on that. Now we know, I know you should all know this is non-licensed. So you're really hoping to get the big names. The one thing about Elite Extradition is they do have the license for the uh, Dominican, uh, the Dominican uh, League, which I think is the DPL. I don't know the exact uh, terminology for that, but they do have that. So you are going to get some players that I'm going to be like, who the hell is this guy? And I'm also getting guys, I'm like, whoo, that's awesome. So our whole goal today 
is just to get a couple hitter autographs. I really, like, I want some, you know, obviously Marcella Meyer, Henry Davis, uh, Harry Ford, uh, Jackson Merrill. Those are guys I want, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, VRs, Zavala, guys like that. Those are who I want. Will I get them? I hope. But you know what? It's all a gamble either way. Are you ready to rip this open? Good. Well, wait, before I do do that, yeah, you can do that. And that. <laughs> and that, leave a comment. Have you opened Elite Extra Edition before? I did last year. And it was all right, it was all right. But then again, I opened the blaster box I found at a Target. So it was five cards and I did get Robert Hassel, US Team USA stitch, so that was cool. But again, with those blaster boxes, that's a retail format. So you're probably gonna get better hits in this. And at 85 bucks from Frank, and you look at it this way, if you buy a blaster box for 25 bucks and then you buy four of those, you're still getting less than when you buy this. Yeah, you're only gonna get eight hits total. You're getting eight hits plus two autographs. I mean, eight autographs plus two mems. So this is a better buy in the end. So either way, are you ready? Good. Ripping packs. Time to open Panini Elite Extra Edition. Find eight autographs and two mem cards in here. Per box on average, because that's just what Panini does. And hopefully you don't screw me there. Five cards per pack, five packs per box. Ready to go. Ripping packs, three, two, one. Let's rip some packs, let's go. All right. Get out of here. And, oh, this is a, this is a fancy, ooh, from the top. Look at that. Oh, wow. Let's just go from the top. Pack number one. This is kind of a cool snazzy. Five packs for rocks. That is Henry Davis, by the way, the number one overall pick by the Pittsburgh Pirates out of Louisville. Catcher. He ended the year at high A in Greensboro. So let's just go. I don't know what we're getting. We're packs. Let's have fun. Let's go. I'll try to be uh, Ian Moeller for Texas, numbered to 121, 78 to 121. Uh, I want to say he was the third or fourth rounder uh, catcher for them. And then we have ourselves Bryce Miller for the Mariners. Number two, 499, 453 of 499. Pitcher out of looks like it's Texas A&M. So these are very shiny, uh, very hollow. They have that foil base. Then we got a, it looks like our first auto. So we'll go to the back here. A guy I'm not aware of, Alex Uwola. Uh, Uwola, Elite Extra Edition. I do not know anything about him, but I will Google and I will post below who the hell he is because I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. And we have a, looks like a, well, we got, I guess this is, hey, we got six cards in here. Boom. Oh yeah, we had Bryce Miller already. Jesus, what am I smoking? All right, so let's just go to the back. Screw it. Boom! Our first autograph is Landon Marceau from LSU, um, from Panini Contenders. Uh, do not know Landon, and I will put below if he got drafted. He could have been drafted. That's the thing is, like in Bowman Draft, they only put realistically guys in the first five rounds. They probably have guys in all 20 rounds in this thing, and then guys who just are like, eh, let's throw them in there. So Landon Marceau, doesn't look like it's numbered, and our next card is Andy Thomas. A catcher for the Mariners. So Landon Marceau is college, 47 to 99. And Andy Thomas with the Elite Extra Edition. Sticker autos, by the way, for the Mariners. And I will put below where he actually went round-wise because I don't recall picking, uh, getting any of his cards out of Bowman Draft. And he is not numbered. He is not numbered at all. So that's pack number one. Got two autos. Got six more. And I think we got some relic in here. All right, pack number two of Panini Elite Extra Edition with new packs. Let's go. Booyah. Andrew Painter for the Phillies. He was the number one pick for them. That's a die cut. Uh, number two, 214. Prime numbers. Number one overall pick for the Phillies. So I want to say he was probably around the. 15th and 20th or so. Andrew Painter going into the, well, numbered pile. Jackson Wolf for San Diego, uh, numbered to 249 with the aspirations. 
uh, do not know Jackson Wolf, but that West Virginia University it looks like. So college pitcher, West Virginia, Jackson Wolf, probably. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna pull numbers out of my ass. So I'm just not gonna tell you. But it says he was drafted by San Diego, so I'm gonna agree to that. The Padres picked him. Jackson Wolf, and then we did get a Carson Williams. Nice. That's a that's a legit one. I'll take Carson Williams. It's a it's a uh, thread thread up. Boop. Uh, just a good old-fashioned napkin. Uh, number two, 199. Carson was, I want to say, the second round pick for the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, second baseman. Carson Williams right there. Could be a first. I'm not familiar. No, it's Cooper Kenny was there for second round. So he actually might be the first round pick. So yeah, that's a nice little relic hit. At least it's a name I'm aware of. And then we got Jose Torres is our auto for the Reds. Nice. Uh, he, I did pull some of his cards, and I think he was a third, quite possibly third rounder for them. I will put below where he went because I don't know, but that's at least the name I'm familiar with, so there's an upside. And is that numbered? Uh, it is not. And then Tanner Allen from Mississippi State. Now, I think he was drafted, and that is not numbered. It is a Panini's Contenders College tickets. So, yeah, going to go into, well... This is gonna be a weird little cesspool of a rip right here. Gonna go into, well, this weird pile right here. Are you ready for pack number three? Uh, Panini Elite Extra Edition Rip Packs. Let's go. Got a, our left relic probably. Trey Sweeney for New York with the prime numbers. Number two, 200. I will put below what exactly he is. Not he, but the, also the insert, but Trey Sweeney, not aware or familiar with Trey Sweeney. Again, these are some guys probably deep in the draft, so that's the one thing with some of these guys. Then Calvin Ziegler for the Mets. It says New York, but obviously they don't have the rights. He's numbered to 499, but I know he was drafted, I think, the second round by the Mets. Calvin Ziegler, number two, 499. College pitcher. You're going to go into this numbered pile. Then we do have our other relic, and it is Roger Clemens. I like me the rocket. And it's Red Sox. Where it's uh, it's the gray, but I don't care. Year 1983, pick 19, Roger the Rocket Clemens. That's a friggin' hit for me just because he's a sock. And Roger Clemens, will he make the Hall of Fame? He deserves it. Ugh, the whole Balco Royds thing really HGH kills me. And he has some great seasons with the Blue Jays and the Yankees, too, and the Astros. But he's always a Red Sox to me. And that's an awesome hit. That's that's awesome to get a friggin'. You either want a guy like this or you want, a, you know, top prospects. That's pretty awesome. And then our autograph is somebody from the Dominican League, Thomas Sosa. Dominican Prospect League, number 149. It's a R... No, no, well, it's an RPA, technically. It's numbered 149, 149, bookended. Thomas Sosa. It's got the blue relic and the autograph. That's pretty sweet right there. So, I mean, right now we've got the uh, three relics and an autograph. So that's kind of doing a little more than they said they would do, which is awesome. You know what I mean? It's friggin' awesome. And the last card is going to be Gunnar Hogland for uh, Old Miss. He was actually the first round pick by the Blue Jays, and that is not numbered or anything, but Gunnar Hogland, uh, he was, I wanna say, he was definitely like the number 10 prospect out of the draft, and just because of team's needs and everything. But yeah, the Blue Jays picked him, I wanna say 19th overall. Uh, Gunnar Hogland, nice. That's, uh, he's gonna be an ace for them. And they've got a lot of good pitching. Yeah, all right, we got two packs left here, pack. And we got, technically, four more autos. <sighs> pack number four of Panini Elite Extra Edition Hobby Box. Let's go, Rip Packs. Angel Cruz from the Dominican Prospect League. Ramp prime numbers to 200. Again, I'm not aware of most of these guys, so it's purely a gamble on who the hell these guys are, but it's gonna go into the numbered pile. Then Shane Panzini for Kansas City for the Royals, numbered to 499. I want to say he was a fourth rounder for them. Not exactly sure. I did pull him out of Bowman Draft, I know that. But Shane Panzini going into the numbered pile. And then we should have our autograph here. Uh, let's just, I'll, I mean, I'm not going to know who some of these guys are, honestly. 
Um, oh, oh. It's a pitcher. It is probably a pitcher for the Dodgers. Oliver Ortega. Uh, for Hidden Gems for Los Angeles. Looks like the Angels. Oliver Ortega. I am not aware of Oliver Ortega. Could be an NBA Ortega. Either way, he pitches for Los Angeles, assuming the Angels because the red, but you never friggin' know. That's another autograph hit. And then our next autograph is going to be late extra edition again, of course. Number 33, it's a batter, college batter. Tyler Black from Milwaukee. Nice, that on card too for prime numbers. Number 274. Um, I did pull some of his cards out of draft, so I don't know where he went, but it looks like the Sharpie was starting to run out there too. But Tyler Black, uh, again, I'll put below, besides the story of him, uh, where he went as well and what the deal is with the card. Um, but yeah, that's that's cool. I mean, I did. it's a name I did pull and I'm aware of, so there's always the plus there. And the last card is Josh Baez for the Cardinals. Um, not numbered right there, but that is for the Elite Extra Edition, just base. Now, again, I'm not aware of him, but he got drafted by the Cardinals, and yeah, has exit velocities above 100 miles an hour, evidently. So, Josh Baez going into, well, I'll just put you here with Alex. Ooh, la, la. All right, last pack. We got two more autographs. Technically, we have one more, but that RPA, probably just one autograph, but you never know. All right, last pack of Elite Extradition. Let's get a let's get a good uh, let's get a good first rounder. That's all I'm gonna ask for. Ribbon packs. Let's go. Well, I did get a Harry Ford, just not autographed. Number two, nine ninety nine, Elite Extra Edition. Uh, number twelve overall pick by the Mariners, and he reminds me a lot of Craig Biggio in the sense that he's an athlete who can hit. He's a catcher, but they're talking about moving him all over just to kind of, you know, speed him up. He might be a second baseman, might be a center fielder. That's the type of player he is. But yeah, he's he's a just a pure athlete. So that's a nice little hit right there. And then Ethan Wilson for Philadelphia, their second round pick uh, for the Aspirations 249. Uh, I want to say he was uh, South Alabama or South Arkansas, I can remember, but he was a college kid, uh, second round pick for the Phillies and a solid, solid bat. Uh, we'll see if he progresses the way he should. Ethan Wilson for the Phillies. Do we have an auto? We have a backwards card. So there's that. Um, Christ, I just flipped the wrong way around. And it is a pitcher and Rohan. Honda for the Giants. Do not know Rohan. Honda for the Giants. Not aware of Rohan Honda. But I got his auto. And this is a sticker one, by the way. Yeah, it's a sticker auto there. But Rohan Honda. I now have your card. And I have your autograph. So way to go, Rohan. And then the last maybe auto. I could be off. Last auto. It's college bat, it looks like. Uh, Braden Brozier, the third round. Another auto. So, dude, we did well on the autos. Good Lord. Out of Washington. I want to say he was a third rounder to the Twins. Uh, Braden Brozier, uh, third round pick. Again, I'm ma making that number up. He could be third or fourth uh, for the uh, Minnesota Twins, I believe. No, Nationals. Washington Nationals. That's where Braden Brozier went. But Braden Brozier, of course, it says Washington right here. <laughs> Washington. And the last card of the pack is Brock. Selvage for the Yankees, and I think he was a second or third round pick. Not numbered at all, but Brock Selvage with the Elite Extra Edition uh, card. So there you go. There is your Panini Elite Extra Edition. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have yeah, we got eight. <laughs> Nine, no, three, six, eight. We got eight. I'm bad at math. We got eight autographs here. Three mem technically, so because of the RPA, but I mean the hits. We'll just go over the hits that I'm. Uh, I mean, obviously this is a cool card. This may be nobody, but Thomas Sosa. Um, I'll put below again, like I did before, who this guy was. Thomas Sosa, RPA book ended 149 uh, relic and auto. So you never know there. Carson Williams, who was a top pick for the Tampa Bay Rays, with the uh, with the napkin. So there is that card right there. The big hit for me, honestly, 
it's because it's a name that we all know. Roger Clemens with the with the relic right there. And it is game worn, guaranteed game worn. I cannot be upset about that. Not numbered or anything. It's probably just a pair of pants, but still, it's pretty friggin' awesome. So let's go over the autographs real quick. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's only three autographs here that I'm like, these are winners, if you will. And uh, again, we just pulled it, but Braden Brozier, which is funny, uh, it's not a sticker, it's on card. But most of these are sticker autographs. Braden Brozier for the Nationals. Tyler Black here uh, for the Brewers. And Jose Torres for the Reds. So those are our three on cards that I'm aware of, people I know. Then this was a sticker auto for Andy Thomas for the Mariners. Landon Marceau for the uh, LSU Tigers. I was hoping to pull a, Khalil, uh, a Camille Rocker. Did not get one, obviously, but I was hoping to pull one of him because he was drafted by the Mets and didn't sign of it at the end. Um, so there, Rohan Honda for the Giants. And our last auto is Oliver Ortega, probably for the Angels. Um, yeah, so I mean, obviously in the end, I got a Harry Ford. Didn't get any of the big, uh, like, you know, Marcel Meyer, uh, didn't get uh, Jordan Lawler, didn't get, yeah, I mean, I can, I can tell you guys I didn't get, but I did get a couple of the guys I was like, okay, I'm happy with that. So, is it worth 85 bucks? Well, come back in three or four years, we'll find out. <laughs> but there you go, there is your ripping packs for Monday. We had some Monday mail, we had some more prospecting, and guess what Wednesday's gonna be? Even more prospecting. That's right, we're gonna rip open Bowman Light Hobby Box, and I was gonna open Friday, but now we're gonna rip it open on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with this rip. I will, honestly, I was, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, 85 bucks is a little bit, you know, but when you're getting the guaranteed autos, you can't complain. Even if, if one turns out to be decent, you know, you're happy. Now, granted, the resale value on these things, as we all know, with, with non-licensed is not there. But as a collector, it's kind of cool for these things. If some of these guys pan out, cool, even better. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching Ripping Packs. That, yes, you can do that. In fact, why aren't you? You did, great. Uh, like, if you'd like, you, why aren't you? you go ahead, oh, great. Uh, notification bell, whatever. Leave a comment. Again, have you bought Elite Extra Edition? Uh, what are some autos? What are some cards you've pulled? I mean, I'm kind of happy I only got a couple Dominican in the Prospect League, guys, just because I don't know any of that stuff. Because this brain can only handle so much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, come back on Monday, and we're going to rip open some Bowman Light. And until then, always rip some packs. I will see you then.